Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Not only is the psalm designated a song of praise, but it cries out for the whole earth to raise its collective voice in jubilant joy and undivided delight to the one and only God, who is the true and living creator and preserver of heaven and earth. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord is the great opening command of this exultant anthem of praise and thanksgiving. Continuously shout out joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Rejoice and be glad, we are instructed, and make merry before the Lord. It is not simply men and women, boys and girls, who are to lift up combined voices in a loud, universal hymn of praise, but the whole earth is called upon to unite its collective voice in one long, glorious chorus of holy praise and grateful thanks. The visible realm and the invisible sphere are to unify their song of gladness. Every creature is called upon to glory in their creator. The dust of the earth and waves of the sea are to cry out in harmony as they praise the eternal God and our glorious Saviour. The wind and weather is to ebb and flow and surge and roar in an ongoing cacophony of worshipful praise to our mighty Lord. The heavens are to be glad and unite in telling forth the glory of the living God, and their expanse is to declare his wonderful works. The earth is to rejoice, the sea is to roar, the mountains are to break forth in shrill shouts of joy, and the meadows are to clothe themselves with flocks of sheep and array themselves with sweet-smelling flowers as a tribute to the great God who made them all. This psalm is a call to all the nations of the world to unite in thankful praise. All peoples, nations, kingdoms and tribes are summoned to shout joyfully to God. It is not simply the chosen nation of Israel that is to rejoice in the Lord, but an invitation has been extended to the four corners of every nation to lift up their united voices in songs of praise to the Lord God Almighty. We are to make melody in our heart and praise him with corded instruments and brass. We are to speak and shout to one another and join together in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing praise to God and making melody to him in our hearts with thanksgiving. Let us praise the Lord in the morning time and as shadows of evening fall according to his excellent greatness. Let us sing praises in the sanctuary of our heart and in the mighty expanses of the great outdoors. Let us praise him in our work and worship him in our times of recreation. Let us rejoice in the Lord always with trumpet and harp, with timbrel and dancing, with stringed instruments and pipes, with loud resounding cymbals and pretty tinkling bells. May we always and forever make a joyful noise to the Lord and make melody in our heart and with grateful lips. May we harmonise our voices together with thanksgiving and praise for all that God has done for us, for he is good and gracious, he is kind and faithful, and his mercy is everlasting, for we have a God whose truth endures forever and ever and ever. Amen. God bless you all.